Hello and welcome to my first look at the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest art book. Now I'd like to say that it comes with um, four of your issues of the Conquest subscription, but it doesn't. What Hachette Partworks have done is they've altered your direct debit. I say without your permission. They have done it without your permission. They've altered it to add an extra £15, but then what they've done is they've then sent out letters, which, hey, you know, you may not receive, but um, they sent out letters uh, just to let you know that they were doing that, and if you don't want to do that, to opt out. I'm a strong believer that it should have happened the other way around. I think they should have sent letters and said, hey, if you want this extra thing, tick this box and post it back to us, or, I don't know, they've got everybody's email address, they could be a, a reply to the, the email maybe. And then that way, it wouldn't have cost them any money to send that letter out. They would have got instant feedback and I'm sure they could have just added the um, amount onto the direct debit as they have done for everybody kind of automatically. Anyway, that's a bit odd that they've done it that way. Whatever kind of business practices they, they do strongly reflects on Games Workshop because they've Games Workshop have, I say, lent them. They've basically given them the, the license to sell their own products um, at a much, much cheaper amount by including them in the subscription. Um, stay tuned to my channel because I'll be going through an in-depth, a proper in-depth um, review of the whole of the subscription, what you get in every single issue, and the full price breakdown of what you save, and also what you save you know, if you were to buy the models from third party um, sellers as well. Me and Math MathsCat have worked really hard on that video, um, so, and I'm hoping to get it out to you next week at some point. But anyway, let's have a look at this book. It's in here. I say with the next issues, well, you've already heard me talk about um, the fact that it kind of sort of isn't. In my opinion, it would have been better if it was included in, in the issues um, as a bonus. You know, um, we've had the binder, we've had a painting handle, we've had the glue, we've had, you know, various other bits and pieces. Um, this would have been a nice and on the cake, this, this book. Uh, another thing, I, I know I'm moaning today, but another thing I'm not a big fan of is this hardback book, although it's in a slipcase, just comes in with the rest of the magazines in this plastic bag. That's very, very poor. Hachette sell many other products, many other subscriptions that aren't just magazines. They do have book subscriptions. I'm a subscriber of the Warhammer 40,000 Legends Collection. They know how to package hardback books. And I have actually received um, some of these magazines uh, in a you know proper cardboard box. That would have been the bare minimum. It's got a hardback book in it. Um, and you're putting it in a plastic bag. No, that's a huge mistake. There are two gripes out of the way. Um, let's have a look at these. So these are the issues. Um, so let's see. So you've got 19, 20, 21, and 22. Um, and of course the hardback um, book, which is 15 pounds. And already you can see it's dinted there. Uh, on the slipcase, it's it's really big dint there. Um, and that's about it. But yeah, a dint there, which is quite horrific actually. And I wonder if it's gone through to the book itself. Um, and that one, again, they should have put that in a in a box. They should have put this this whole collection in a, in a box. Um, we're going to open that and see what the damage is. Um, but if you didn't already know, issue 19 comes with Lord Felthius and the cohort. They could have just put Lord Felthius in there um, and charged you the £8. People still would have been happy with that, I would have thought. But as it stands, that saves you a fair bit of money because you're getting a load of those um, Death Guard Terminators. Um, you get another um, armoured container. That's the third one now. So you basically pay £24 um, for a £30 set of boxes, metal boxes. You've got 21, um, which has three reavers. And I think they're the same three reavers as before um, at the very start of the collection. So that's a repeat. That's a repeat. Um, you get the core rules, which you get in every single box game. Um, you do get a sample chapter of uh, the Lords of, Lords of Silence, sorry. Um, you do get a um, little sample book. Would have been nice if you actually got the full book rather than sample. In a way, it's kind of like 
you know teasing you and it wants you to get the full full book rather than giving you a, a full product it's nice that we get a sample but this is a subscription i want the full products um and then this conquest has the um texture paint astrogonite astrogonite um, and you also get a brush as well um, which is a medium base brush which is pretty good that's probably the weakest uh, out of all of them maybe the reavers but yeah so not the best collection of four but the lord felthius if you haven't already got him then it's a it's a must for for that issue and um, the other issue the other three issues there's no point in spending what amounts to 24 pound um anyway this is why you're here. Apologies for the disjointed um, nature of, of this video. This is something kind of new, I think. Uh, and I wanted to put this video up as soon as possible. You will get unboxings um, and first looks at all those other issues um, as they come out. I'm catching up with all my um, Conquest videos now. Um, I try and put out at least two a week. So you're getting four in the month. And I might even... And put in two over some of the weekends to catch up as well. Um, but anyway, let's unwrap this. Now this is fifteen pounds. That's a fair bit of money um, for this, and it looks like most of the money has gone into the the uh, slip cover. It doesn't look very thick at all. Um, it looks really nice. It'll look nice on the um, shelf, the art of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Um, you take this out. Um, can't see any damage. It's not really A4, it's kind of a sort of smaller version. You've got a Primaris there and then a, a Death Guard there. Um, this book is a celebration of the art that has brought the Warhammer 40,000 to life for enthusiasts across the globe. So a big, big um, slipcase. <laughs> Thick, thick slipcase. Um, let's have a little look at this. Oh, so it says here: John Michael Back, um, Warhammer Forty Thousand Pyrrhon Rulebook, Two Thousand Sixteen. So that's the rulebook um, artwork. And then it says, all right, so you've got the um, artist there as well. Hopefully you can see this. Um, Welcome to the grim darkness of the far future. The artwork in this book is a unique window into the rich and exciting world of Warhammer 40,000, where the empire of mankind is beset on all sides, not least from the fetid, 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 and infectious legionaries of the Death Guard. In this book, you will find stunning artwork that represents the heroic space marines and the foul Death Guard at their best and is by some of the most amazing artists uh, on earth. Hmm. Enjoy this book and remember, in the far future, there is only war. Ian. Okay. Now, there's no um, contents look. There's no pages. Um, now, you may say, oh, well, super, um, you know, if you put a page number or whatever, that'll spoil the artwork. But they they put the the name of the artists and the, the year and things on there anyway. Um, but there you go. You've got uh, Space Marine Codex cover. Dark Imperium fronts. Another Primaris and uh, Reva. That's a lovely bit of artwork. Invasion of Ultramar. Mark Holmes. Gilliman versus the Black Legion. I've got a feeling that that's going to happen again. <laughs> very close. Very soon. Uh, the Imperius Dominatus. I think that's in the Space Marine Codex. And I think that's the uh, artwork that's in your um, binder. And it's a bit of text there as well. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Is he in a in is he in a repulsor? Who knows? No, no fear. Box cover. There he is. Gilliman versus Scarbrand. Paul Dainton artwork. 
Silver Templars. I think they're getting a new codex or something. I think they're getting, you know, uh, a bit of a, a focus, the Silver Templars, um, or a specific book. Not sure whether it's with this Conquest um, subscription. I'll have to have a little look uh, for you. Imperial Fists, Crimson Fists, Hammers of Dawn, Invaders, White Scars, Solar Hawks, Destroyers, Storm Reapers. So, yeah, that's a fair few pages just on sort of Space Marine diagrams, I suppose. Um, Hulk, Space Hulk, Sin of Damnation. Pretty good. And then we're on to the Death Guard. Here we go. Lovely bit of artwork. That's on the front cover of the Codex. More Alex Boyd artwork. That's incredible. I really like that one. They're giving it to the towel there. Even more Tarians involved. Look at that one. I like that one too. That's in the Codex. Lord of Contagion and a Blightbringer. That's Typhus and a Foul Blightspawn. And a Biologist Putrefire and a Scribus Wretch and some Poxwalkers. Marphitic Blight Haulers and a Plague Burst Crawler. And then a Death Shroud Terminator. That's a cool one. I don't know whether I've seen that one before. Fetid Bloat Roan. And Plague Marine. And then you've got some of these True Part Works. Tainted Sons. The Fecund Ones. The Putrid Choir. The Glooming Lords. Apostles of Contagion, the Weeping Legion, and there you go. There you got some more Death Guard. One of the ships, Death Guard tanks. And I think we've seen that one before with Mortarian in the back, ringing the bells, and a Chaos Cultist, and then another. Yeah, lovely bit of artwork there. More Tyrone in the Death Guard. Plague Surgeon. And then a Chaos Spawn, which I do think you get later on, much later on in the collection. And then you get all the icons for the Death Guard and the Space Marines. So there you go. That is the uh, art book. Um, I can't tell you how many pages it is, but I'd probably say it's... Probably about 60, 60 or so pages. So it's not even 80 or 100 pages. It's a 60 page art book um, for £15. Um, it's got artwork where, yeah, 95% or so of it you've seen before easily. Um, so if you've seen the artwork and you've got the codex, um, you know, if you haven't got the codex, it might just be worth getting the codex for an extra £5. And then you'll have, you know, all of the artwork in there um, and more. And it'll be in a bigger format because this isn't actually codex size, which I was expecting it to be bigger. I was expecting it to be at least codex size and probably between 80 and 100 pages just jam full um, of artwork. I don't know whether they've used every single bit of artwork from Primaris and um, Death Guard, but it's definitely the stuff that we've seen before. Anyway, um, what do you guys think of the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest art book? I mainly let it fly, um, let them bump up my subscription from £32 to £47 because this is a full journey with you. I want the full collection, um, I want all of the models and things that this set comes with and I do wonder what else they're going to pull in terms of changing people's subscription and um, 
Personally, I think that they should have just given this to subscribers as a, as a freebie. Maybe at issue um, 40 or so, like to say, you know, you're halfway there, you've got 40 more issues to go. So far you've spent 300 quid. Here's a £10 art book to say thanks or, you know, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, what do you guys think of uh, the art book? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.